you're either worried about what I'm saying or it is whatever. You have to be worried, right? But it's a whatever. Thing. Yeah. I'll say whatever. I have little concern for real friends as well. <laughs> I'm slightly worried. Four for four? You're worried? <laughs> I, I am. Whammy bar me. <laughs> He's worried, but it presents a good opportunity. <laughs> and I look in your eyes, you're empty. <laughs> Are you guys buckets of stress, yes or no? I'm looking at you. <laughs> we're New it's Yorkers. It's a little bit too much coffee as we play. We're right New now. Yorkers, yes, we're always worried. Are you worried or it is? Whatever. <laughs> Robert's not a New Yorker, by the way. What, what led you to because you're, believe that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, they say you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, you can't make it here. I'm making it. Hey, you're I'm making, so it making it just fine. You're either worried or whatever. Alex Bregman, we will begin in Houston, hitting 183 in his last 33 games. Tommy, know the back of the baseball card. He is such a gamer, one of our favorites. Are you worried or whatever with these numbers? Yeah, a little bit worried because really you have to look at the last three years, Lauren, because his slugging on fastballs the last three years is under 400, about 372. And this is a guy who came to the league just crushing, turning on fastballs, especially the left field. Had a lot of Dustin Pedroia in his approach at the plate. And I'm not sure he's over the wrist injury from last year. He also had a ton of lower body injuries, hamstrings, legs. Maybe healthy is not right there. But until I start seeing Alex just hitting fastballs into the Crawford boxes night after night, I'd be a little bit worried because this has been going on for a while. It's so interesting you bring up the wrist because that affects every single swing. He took it back three years. Are you worried or whatever? I think I'm at the same worry level as Tom uh, for similar reasons. So process seems fine with this guy. He's still walking a lot and not striking out a ton. So he's making good decisions at the plate. But if you go look at his exit velocity, it is not very good. Those are the two things I look at. Is the guy making good decisions? He is. What's happening when he's making good decisions? Are you hitting the ball hard? He is not hitting the ball hard. Is that injury related? It shouldn't be age. He's in the prime of his career. So I have to think there's some physical limitations here for him, which makes me worry. Can he get over them? Sure, our resident Astros fan. Yeah, I, I, I agree with him. I think it's it, it is definitely worrisome, and and it's so it seems counterintuitive that you're hoping that his problems are health related because of the of the numbers that you just said. But look, no one works harder. No one is more is clued into sure. the science of hitting. Yep. So if anyone can turn it around, it's Alex Bregman, and hopefully uh, that's going to be sooner rather than later. That is for sure. We're big fans. Astros hosting the Mets. Tomorrow, Rays hosting the Yankees tonight. They're also averaging two runs per game over their last six games. Joel, they've lost nine of their last 14. Are you worried or whatever about the Rays overall? Um, I, I, it's not full on worried, but worried. Uh, part of this is about who's not playing, right? Wanda Wonder. Franco and Brandon Lau are not playing. They're too mm. big. You know, Franco switch hitter, but two big left-handed bats. They're 26th in the sport in left-handed OPS. Since June 1st, since uh, they lost Franco, they're last. Now, they're bringing up Josh Lowe, who didn't hit early in the season, starting tonight, but is killing it again at AAA. Can he help with that element until they get Lau? you got to do Lowe and Lau. Until they get Lau and Franco back. They're hoping Franco comes back next weekend. Okay, so perhaps buying time. Are you worried or whatever in the interim? Yeah, I'm worried because in, in that group as well, they're missing Zanino. So I look at the lack of slugging on this team. And I, I think this team needs to go out, even when they're, they're healthy, and get another bat. I, I really believe that because I like this team defensively. Actually, that defensively haven't been as good as we've seen the past years, but pitching we know is good. I just don't think they changed the game quickly enough with big swings the way they have in the past couple of years. I'm a little bit worried about their lack of slug. You know, they've tried this, right? They, tr they did get Nelson Cruz last year. He didn't hit for them, yeah. really. And they tried like heck under the radar to get Freddie Freeman, Freddie Freeman there in the offseason. Yeah. So th I think they recognize their issue. I'm going to go whatever just because whatever. we always doubt the Rays and they do things a little bit differently. They like to work in the margins. I think they'll figure it out. Something that's not related to their offense, which could affect them. Uh, Max and research let me know about this. Today is the day where pitchers, you're only allowed to roster 13 pitchers and that's down from 14. So that could affect the Rays roster construction a little bit with how they like to employ their 
all their bullpen and all their pieces, but I think they're going to figure out. Are they going to catch the Yankees? That's a real different question. Is there anything right more modern that we're worried about how somebody's going to manipulate their pitchers when they have 13 of them? I agree with you. Well, thank goodness it's going down to 13. Yeah. We might see some more offense because yeah. we were talking about batting averages around the game. <laughs> it's embarrassing, yeah. some of the batting average. I think it might go up now. Robert, you're very carefree on that. I appreciate that. Our first whatever of the game. How much stock do you put into schedule? That is my question. The Brewers, 13 and 18 against above 500 teams. They've won one series this season where the team was above 500 at the time of the series. It's very telling. Yeah, can I wait for a couple of days when they play St. Louis? Okay, yeah, exactly. do we continue to worry? Yeah, that'll tell us a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big believer in that. I like to see the playoff caliber teams beat other good teams. That's the measuring stick. And there's a lot of bad teams in the game today. I think last time I checked, there were six teams under 400 winning percentage. That's a lot of layup wins. So it's hard to measure how good you are when you're beating teams you're supposed to. I realize you need to do that to get the 90 plus wins. Um, I like the Brewers. I'm not worried about them. When they get Peralta back, when they get Woodruff back, then they'll start to roll again. After Miles Michaelis and Corbin Burns share the mound, then you're going to give me another answer. <laughs> Worried or whatever, Joel. So, you know, you, if you drill down on a little, their ERA against teams with winning records is actually lower than against below 500. It's 349 against winning 385. This is about offense. Against winning teams, 216 batting average, 598 OPS, and the person who's killing them the most is Christian Yelich. 186 batting average against winning teams, 486 uh, 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 OPS. You know, he hasn't, we were talking about Bregman. He yeah. hasn't been Christian Yelich for now. This is three years. He's by far the highest paid player in the history of the team. They really can't be all they're going to be. If he's not above average, if not the 18-19 Yelich who won an MVP, threatened for an MVP, to me that's the big issue. Is Christian Yelich a great player anymore? No. Yeah, and, and like Alex Bregman, I think health and, and how healthy Christian Yelich is, I think that is a factor. So put, yeah, I'm, I am worried. But like to Tom's point, they have a big series with the Cardinals starting the week. So let's see what that looks like, what they look like. But I do take stock win in how you play against other playoff caliber teams. I think that is important. I've known Joel for 10 years. He always has a piece of paper. There's one million words on it. I've never seen you read off of it before until right now. I don't know if I'm just worried or whatever. Nothing on. But there's nothing so on. much research. Oh. Maybe just read it. You don't even need it. You don't need it for this because all you need are your eyeballs to check it out. d -Row took his 12 and under team to a tournament. Aww. This is the image. Ripken experience. They're there right there now. Pigeon Force, Tennessee. Are you worried or whatever about how many snow cones he's going to have to buy those kids, Robert? Oh, I'm, I am deathly afraid of, of, of what's going to go on as far as... I'm worried about Major League Baseball because I think they'd finish fourth in the AL Central. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Too yeah. soon, too early. Yeah, they might, early. they might challenge for a wild card spot. You never know. Expanded playoffs. No, but uh, congrats. Good luck to uh, D-Row, and uh, be sure to say hello to, uh, to Bill Ripken for us while you're out there.